public sector unions on Monday reiterated their call on the chief personnel officer to increase the contract settlement offer from 4%. Terran Brown-Campbell has the details. Leaders from the Public Services Association, the Fire Service Association and the Prison Officers Association are demanding a better offer from the chief personnel officer. Collectively, the respective leaders, Leroy Batiste, Leroy Ramkisun and Saron Richards, say their memberships will not accept the offer and they are prepared to take a stand. Asking, pleading to the CPO and all his principals to treat with that matter as a matter of urgent public importance and in, a, in the absence of which we will say that the government is embarking on a journey to shut down Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Richards describes the 4% offer as a pay cut since it does not address the 22% increase in inflation. Meanwhile, Mr. Batiste says the expectation that these workers in essential sectors would continue to work no matter what they are paid is wrong. He insists they will need to feed their families and meet their responsibilities. This will end. Yeah. This will end with workers being able to maintain their standard of living. That's That's it's the only how it can end. Today begins any attempt to call us slaves, any attempt to believe that you're going to use the law as a whip. We shall revolt. The chief personnel officer raised the offer for the settlement of wages for all public service workers from 000 to 022 in recent months. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.